So this is going to be a oh, this is going to be an awesome video. Let me just start off by saying I'm very pleased that I'm going to be buying this Megatron. Um, you know, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm happy. S01 New Age, you're going to be mine. And as you can see here, he is not the same as their H9 uh, Legends version. And how he scales with the uh, Masterpiece version, uh, you know, that's exactly what it should be. Um, he's not like exactly close to the Masterpiece, but there's a lot of good stuff with this and I'm glad we're getting it. And to you naysayers that all say that Megatron should be a tank because he wasn't a tank in the G1 1986 movie, screw you, because you were about to get yours at the end of the video. And it may alienate some collectors, but I really don't give a rat's ass. I'm tired of people telling me what I should like because you want something that you never experienced because we G1ers want the gun. We want a gun Megatron. I don't care how you feel. I'm tired of hearing you know, he can't fire himself and, you know, it's not pleasable to be a gun. Well, that's what he was. And too bad for you. We don't like you and we don't care. To my G1 fans, this video is for you. So starting off with the SO1 in its alt mode, it is, yeah, I don't do centimeters. So it's whatever centimeters is there. I guess that's inches. I can't tell. I don't, like I say, I'm not sure on that. So, but yeah, he's whatever size he is, because I don't know. Um, so here he is next to the uh, the Legends version by New Age. And yeah, he's supposed to be slightly bigger. Um, here he is next to uh, Masterpiece Megatron. And again, he's slightly smaller. Um, pretty good representation of what they've done so far. Here he is next to uh, uh, Classics Megatron, but one of those repaints from like a special two pack. I forgot where they were like red. Now here he is without the scope and without the barrel so he's got that like snub nose appearance and it looks like he's got a trigger now the cool thing about this figure the cool thing about this figure which we know we're not going to get from hasbro is metal parts and i hope that works to help with stability and you know the first one right off the back we see at that little piece there when it transforms that's actually the waist piece and that is metal parts so that gives me a little hope and maybe not, but we don't have to figure yet. Now he also comes with four different faces. You got the duck lip face. <laughs> you got the, you know, regular standing pose face. He's got the maniacal laughing face. <laughs> I love that. And then of course he has the, uh, you know, that angry open mouth face. And you can see that the head's like on a screw because you can see the screw right below that uh, maniacal laughing face. So yeah, I guess that's the way you change the faces. I haven't watched the video yet. These pictures I got from a website. Um, the waist again, which is probably that part where we were seeing in the previous is the waist piece for Megatron and it is die cast parts. And I, like I say, I know how that works because I'm a solo Chogokin collector. That doesn't always bode well because right now I'm messing with Go Figar and I don't want to do the review because those joints are super tight and weird. Um, but here he is standing now the comparison time. Now he's next to the, uh, repaint of the Magnus cab. That Japanese Optimus Prime, here he is standing next to Blitzwing. Now this is, of course, uh, a, a legacy Blitzwing where he's about correctly scaled. Now this is Generations Blitzwing, which, you know, at that time they were made a little bit larger. So, of course, he's still in the seven inch range. Same thing for the leader class uh, version of the Legends Blitzwing, which is a repaint to Titans Return. All he is next to Titans Return octane or it could be the legends version i think it's the legends version as the wheels are painted um here he is next to uh legacy breakdown again perfect size we're going to see more pictures and we need to see this because it's very important here he is standing next to shockwave and he is bigger than shockwave somebody says shockwave should be as big as jeff fire i disagree here he is next to uh motor master and motor master is very very close to seven inches um sound is a little shorter but of course, again, here he is next to Soundwave. I still think Soundwave should be bigger, and I know the collect uh, the designers are working on that. Of course, here he is next to Starscream. Starscream needs to be updated as well. I mean, it's about that time. Um, here he is next to Astro Train. Again, you know, the Astro the Legacy versions and Siege and all that are correct size. Now here he is next to MP36, which of course he would be bigger, but they are showing it as a comparison to the parts there. And here he is next to the bridge Megatron where he's slightly bigger than him. Not by much, but I think it's enough. If you need to get him, you could have him scale with Prime. 
Now, the only thing I could think they're doing is maybe adding something to the feet to make them stand just a little taller. I don't know if that'll look right, but you know, hey, third party or maybe New Age themselves can include that so he can stand at the same height as uh, SS86 Optimus Prime. Now to you collectors, you YouTubers, all of you that are against G1 Megatron being a gun, here's my advice to you, fuck you. I'm sick of you. Your reasoning to tell another group of collectors that they shouldn't get this Megatron because of this, we know the gun laws, we live the gun laws, we were there for the gun laws, okay? G1ers know when and how everything goes down because G1ers are usually around the ages of 40 to 50. So we a lot harder than you little young punk scared of everything. You're going to get your tank Megatron, okay? You're going to get your damn tank Megatron. But don't come and tell collectors that, well, Megatron, he, he couldn't fire himself when he did fire himself. And what does it matter if he have, have someone fire himself or not? He was a damn gun and I'm sick of... I'm not biting my tongue on this shit no more. Fuck y'all. He was a damn gun. In 1986, in the fucking movie, he was a gun. If you had a fucking problem with that, come see me. Now, it sucks that we're not going to get it from Hasbro. And I don't really give a shit. Because third party was going to step up. Everybody's like, no, there's the agreement with Hasbro. And they can't make third party. No, there's no fucking agreement. Stop spouting that shit. It's a fucking lie. You fucking YouTubers regurgitate the same shit. You don't know nothing. A lot of y'all don't know nothing. That's why I don't watch a lot of your channels. You don't know shit. You all say the same fucking shit. And I'm mad. I'm tired of that. So Megatron's a goddamn gun. He gonna be a gun. And in 86, he was always a gun. Come fucking fight me if you want. Now, to my G1 collectors, rejoice. We're getting the right Megatron we need until another company comes along. Super Robot Air bringing more news and reviews. Until then, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.